Uh, hello? Uh, I don't know what's going on with the... What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Okay, hello Ethan. Today I'm going to show you how, how Fallout 4 works. Um, follow along my step. I'm trying to go as simple as possible and get quick. I'm going to turn down the volume so you can hear me. And I'm going to show you the basics on how Fallout 4 works, how you can get some stuff, how you get stuff and everything. So let's get started. But yeah, my phone acts very freaking weird when it's plugged in. Like, when it's plugged into the charger, the phone, it messes up. I don't know. It just it just doesn't work properly. Like, it bugs out. Like, when you're trying to zoom in, the phone, like, freaks out and, like, stops recording or something like that. So, something happened to this phone. But anyways. So, first, I got to get you a settlement. I'm not at a settlement. I might be near one. So. If the game will load, I will show you. And I'm not going to do any fast night traveling because it would just take forever. Load game. Load. Need it. You need to work with me here. I'm trying to help a friend. Load. Fucking game. Golly. Game. Load. The last time. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, game. You're going to freaking load? Well, this could take a while. My apologies. About time. Turn off Royal Freedom. We're closer to the Covenant. I'm gonna turn on that dress signal. So let's go to the Covenant. I'm, I'm on dr I'm on drugs right now, so yeah. We got on some really deep shit. I'm almost. These some these are some heck drugs, bro. These drugs are awesome. Oh yeah. I would like for the drugs to go away, please. Ah oh, crap. This has been quite the start. So I'm at the Covenant. If you don't know where it is, well, if these drugs will go away for. So I'm here and now. I just gotta wait for these fucking drugs to go. Okay, they're gone. Okay, good. Here is the covenant. Uh, you see, you see this little. Okay, so look. Here's the red rocket. Here's Sanctuary Hills, and here's the red rocket. If if you just if you go to if you look for this if you look for no motherfucker. If you look for this if you look for this. No game, fuck. Anyways, if you look for this little, if you look for this little section right here, you'll find Covenant right here, near this four-way intersection. And then, uh, look for this. See this right here? This this outline right here. This is a this is a bridge. No, it's a road. So this is a road four-way intersection road right here. And just look for. Look for this weird lake-like thing, and you can find Covenant right here. And just just right next to it is Capitan Bow House. It's really easy to get. Uh, this is Covenant. It's more like a pre-war place, but this place is actually really hard to attain. There's actually a side quest that go to unlock this with to unlock Covenant. You could just come in here and just kill everybody, like I did. No, literally, literally, look. I literally, I literally killed everybody. 
But you can do it the faster way and just kill everybody in here. And you can just attain this element that, that way. But since I'm here, I'm going to show you the basics. So this is the, this is the workshop. This is, this is where the settlement starts. Got some ammo in here. So this is the workshop. Come up to the workshop and you press X. X opens up the inventory for the X for, for the workshop. So, so you could put, so you could put, you could store stuff in here. And uh, if you press A, well, see, look, I have a whole bunch of mods, so it takes a little while for the workshop to load. But eventually, you'll get this little section right here. Now, as you can see, I need more beds. I only have nine. I have nineteen people and nine beds, so I need some more beds. So I just, I just built here. I just built a wall. Sorry, sorry if it's dark. Let, 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 let me make the time go by real quick. So eight hours should make it daytime. Yeah, it should be good. And of course it has to fucking rain. Oh my gosh, go away rain. I'm sorry, I'm losing all my daylight here. Because of this fucking rainstorm. Usually, if you wait two seconds, the storm, or wait or sleep for a few, for like two seconds, the storm will eventually it should go away. If you sleep or wait for like two seconds, you can make the storm go by. But I don't know. This storm in this game is just it's shit. It's so bad. It it constantly rains depending where you are. So anyway, so you get this. This is the main menu. Now I have a mod. So everything has been reorganized and is re repositioned. Anyways, you have special. Uh, during the minimum quest, you're going to eventually get the artillery pieces for your settlement. And basically, you just sign a settler to it. I don't think I have a artillery anywhere. So, so if you do go down the minimum, you could find Kristen Garvey at the... Well, wow. so just go up. Oh, probably those fucking ghouls. Yep, those are the ghouls. It's part of the mod, ghouls will spawn. So, anyways, when you're in your workshop mode, go up to the settler and you'll get command, move. And supply line. Well, you actually have to have a perk for a supply line. But you go up to the settler and you go command. And then you go to, over to the artillery piece and you, pre and you press assign. And that settler will assign to it. So now that settler, he is now defense. He is, he is assigned to the artillery. So when you throw an artillery smoke grenade, he'll shoot the artillery for you. And then you have structures. Now, like I said, everything has been reorganized because of the mod. And you have you have structures. This is for this will be where your shack foundations, walls, roofs, and you know stuff like that. And then you have furniture, and this this would have damn. And here is furniture. Furnitures will have stuff like you'll have beds. Couches, shelves, uh, containers, you know, stuff like that. And then you have decorations. This would have a whole bunch of stuff. You have, see, well, like I said, because of the mod, everything is reorganized. Okay, so here's the Far Harbor stuff. But you'll have stuff like, you'll have wall decorations, like paintings and stuff like that. And then over to the miscellaneous. You'll have stuff like, well, and then you have power. As you can see, you can scroll. So if you don't know how to scroll, 
Let me turn on the lamp so you guys can see. Sorry about the radiation storm. There's ghouls because of the radiation storm. So if you don't know how to scroll, go you head over go over to your controller. Well, let me grab a light so you can actually see better. So when you're in your workshop mode, if you want to scroll, you use the plus, you use this button. You see this button right here? You use this. You you use this. You use this. You use this plus, the plus thing. You see the plus right here? Next next to next Okay, see that plus right there? The plus? That's how that's how you scroll in your workshop mode. Here's the plus. You just you use that to scroll, or at least well for me. But you you probably already know how to scroll. Scroll in the workshop, and then you and then if you scroll further down, you'll find power. This is where the generators, the power conduits, and like other power like stuff. And then if you scroll over one more time, you'll get the resources. Resources will have stuff like. Water, food, and other stuff like that. And then if you scroll, and if you scroll over again, you will have crafting. This is where your stuff like crafting tables. But I'm actually gonna scroll over to. Here's the second menu from this mod. Anyways, when you have no mods, this is how it's gonna be. So, so let's pretend this is the main menu. But like I said, I have a I have the USO mod, so everything has been like reorganized and repositioned. So here is so in the main menu, or in the regular menu, you go have you have structures. So let's go over to structures. So the first structure that you'll get, you'll get wood, or you'll get steel. Now, like I said, I have a whole bunch of mods, but okay. So this is the main menu right here. This is how it's supposed to be. When you go over, so in the vanilla workshop if you press structures you're gonna get wood and steel you can you can build see as you can see you get a whole bunch of steel varieties this is the door by the way so you get a whole bunch of steel like stuff but it takes a lot of steel and this is the large metal shack and you get stuff like these the, you know the stuff that hangs over you know door frames and you get two different varieties of roofs so and wood has the most so if you head over the wood this is the main menu okay ignore this ignore this ignore this okay that's 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 a mod but so in the main vanilla workshop wood and structures menu you'll have you have wood, steel, and you have you have prefabs. You have prefabs. This has this stuff right here. And there would be a whole different there's a whole different types of it. Yet again, here's hallway end. You get a hallway. There's the hallway end. And as you can see, the as you can see it will snap. See how it snaps? It will snap. And you get, and then you get in, then you get a small shack, and then you get a large shack. And it takes wood and steel for that, and then you can decorate however you want. So when you're in this area, if you stroll over one more time, you'll get floors. And here you'll have you have wooden floors. This floor right this this floor is part of the mod, but you'll have these shack floors these are mini floors these are the main floors right here and see this is just a half version and then you get this version of the floor and then you get a whole different varieties of a different different types of floors and then you get this sh shack stairway this is what i use when i was building that tower in fallout 4 part 
13. And then you get this double upper floor. Check, upper, check, upper floor. This is the double. And then, when you're in the floors menu, where you see all this, if you scroll over one more time, you'll get foundation. You'll get the shack foundation, and you'll get a different kind of shack foundation. But this is more open. So, I like to use these shack foundations because they're really cool. Uh, this, this, this is a mod. This, this is a mod. This just adds a whole bunch of different... It's a mod, okay? And if you stroll, and now if you go back to where you'll get prefabs and floors, if you stroll over one more time, you'll get wall. And this is the vanilla door frame. You can put a door in, but because of the mod, I have different. I have like some different kinds. I got a metal one. And then you stroll over in this menu, you'll get walls. This is the vanilla wall. So this is a uh, vanilla, 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 not. Not, not, vanilla, 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 not, 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 not. Mm. So some of these are vanilla and some of them are not. Uh, these are not vanilla. That's not, that's not, that's not. That's not, that's not. This is vanilla. This is vanilla. That's not, and that's not. So these two are vanilla games over one time you get the outer calves these are the outer calves you'll see me use these in that towel and as you can see they snap right next to each other you get open and then you get closed in now this is vanilla 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 uh, I don't know if this is vanilla. No, okay, no, this isn't vanilla. This, this is, this is a mod. Uh, mod, 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 vanilla, mod, 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 vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. This is a mod. Uh, this is vanilla. This is the vanilla, vanilla game. This is also a mod. Uh, this is vanilla, vanilla game, vanilla, vanilla. Vanilla and vanilla, and then you get uh, oh okay the these are okay that's mod and oh I've never been down this section before. This is a brand new section. What the hell, yo I never I never knew this was here. Very interesting. Huh, never knew that was there. So that's the floors, and the, no, that's the walls. And then if you go over to the menu where you can go to pre staffs, floors, walls, scroll over one more time, you'll go to roofs. And all of these, all of the, all of these roofs are vanilla game. Uh, this is vanilla. This is vanilla. This is vanilla. Uh, this is not vanilla. This is a mod. Uh, this is vanilla. That's vanilla. That's vanilla. That's vanilla. Uh, that's not vanilla. Or mod. Mod. I think this is vanilla. I, I'm pretty sure this is. I, I think this is, I think this is the vanilla game right here. Uh, mod, 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 mod. I think this is vanilla game. And, show over, and then if you stroll over, and then if you head back to the main menu, where you can, where you get, you know, walls and floors and everything, stroll over one more time, you get stairs. You get the, you get a whole bunch of Riley of stairs. Uh, these four, uh, these stairs, these are vanilla game, and this is a mod. Uh, that's mod. Okay, these are vanilla game. These are shack. These are the these are the rails. So if you have like, so if you have like a floor, you can these will snap. These will snap. So you can make like really cool. You can, so you can make rails. See, you can make like pens for animals or something. 
That's how they work. Everything snaps. So, uh, this is vanilla, this is vanilla, that's vanilla, that's vanilla. This is also vanilla. This is mod, 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 mod. Mod, 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 mod. These are all mods. Oh gosh, I got, oh my gosh, I got a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, how many do I have? Oh my gosh. And then if you stroll over to where you, can, where you get the stairs available. Anyways, if you stroll, so so when you're in so when you're in this, if you press B, you go back to this little menu here. And if you stroll one more time, you'll get uh, miscellaneous. Uh, Shack Bridge. This is vanilla game. This is a mod. This is a mod. 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 Uh, mod. 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 These are all mods except for this. So that's building structures. If you throw one more time, you get furniture. Now, you know, you know, basically, you know, the normal plain furniture, you'll get beds. Okay. Okay. This is vanilla game. This is vanilla game. Vanilla. 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 And this is also vanilla. So these are the plain. So these are the vanilla games. These are the. These are the games that you'll get. Or these are the beds that you'll get, without mods. Alright, so those are beds, and then you have sofas, so these are the so these are the vanilla game couches, this is vanilla, 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 oh no, no, this is mod, mod, this is vanilla, mod, 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 uh, I think these are vanilla game, and this is vanilla game. These are the same couches, but they're but they're just a different types of couches. I don't really use these. Uh, this is mod cust uh, custom custom seating. That's modded. Uh, these are modded and seating chaired. These these are this is this is vanilla game, vanilla game, vanilla game, vanilla game. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Uh, I think this is vanilla. I could be wrong. Vanilla. Vanilla. Uh. Mod. Vanilla. Mod. Vanilla. 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 Uh, vanilla. Mod. Vanilla. Mod, 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 and the rest of these are mod. And then you have stools. These are all vanilla game, uh, except for this one. This one is a mod. And then you have benches. Uh, vanilla. I think this is vanilla. I could be wrong. Uh, that's mod, mod, mod. Mod, mod, mod. So those are modded. So those are seating. Then you have tables. Uh, these are all vanilla game. Yeah, okay, yeah. These are all vanilla game. Except for... This is modded. Uh, mod... Or no, vanilla, vanilla. A pool tail, this is vanilla game. Uh, this is vanilla game. This is a mod. Mod. Mod, 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 mod. Mod, 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 mod. And the rest are mods. Yep, okay, the rest of those are mods. Here's custom, and here's counters. Those are mods. Then we have desks. These are, these are the only types of desks that you'll get. They're the only kind. And if you over one more time, you get chesses. You know, this has, you know, the regular, like, these These just have containers, toolboxes, house, stuff like that. 
ammo or foot locker. Uh, this is vanilla. That's vanilla. I think this is vanilla. This could be a mod. I'm not for sure. Then you have saves. This is vanilla game right here. Then you have display. These, uh, this is a bobblehead stand. You, these are bobblehead stands. If you don't know what bobble, if you don't know what bobbleheads are, bobbleheads are, uh, they give you special effects. They give you, they're, they're kind of like perks, but like in a bobblehead kind of form. Yeah, uh, that's, those are modded. Uh, shelves, you will kind of base it. Uh, this is vanilla game. This is, I'm not for sure. Okay. This is vanilla game. I know that for sure. And then these are, oh, well, this is mod, 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 mod. Okay. And then here's the decorations. Well, you know, you know, you get the idea. You get the idea. But you, and you get the idea. Yeah, I don't need to go through everything. You can always watch up videos. Look up videos. And here comes the now here comes the part that you've been struggling the most. Power. You said you were struggling on power the most. Well, that's actually kind of easy. I'm trying to find a good place to put this bench. Right, right there. That's a good spot for it. Kind of scrap that. Uh, anyways, if, so in the vanilla, so in the va so in the vanilla menu, this is the vanilla menu, by the way. But in the vanilla menu, if you stroll over to power, if you stroll over to power, you will see. Anyway, so as you see, here's structures, here's furniture, here's decorations. But in the main menu, you will see a light bulb. You see this light bulb right here? See this light bulb? This is power. Go ahead and press A on that, and you'll get you'll get the vanilla stuff. You'll get you got generators. As you can see, this is vanilla, vanilla, vanilla game. This is vanilla game, and these are modded. So these are the van so these are these are the only generators in the entire game, the only kind. Then you have condiments and switches. You got power condiments, and then you stroll over one more time. You'll find the lights. Here are here's the wall light. This is vanilla game. And uh, this is vanilla game and this is vanilla game. So you get some power. The construction light you have to wire. I'll show you. If you don't know how to wire it, it's actually kinda it's, it's actually kinda easy. I'm trying to find the Power kind of, oh, okay, they're right here. So, if you find the construction light and you place it down, what you need to do, go up, go up to the uh, construction construction light, and press Y. You'll see down here at the menu, you'll have select, store, scrap, and attach wire, and exit. What you want to do, if you press A on it, you can pick it up and move it because you see you can pick it up and move it to places. So if you go up to the construction light and you press Y, you hear me? Press go up to the go up to the construction light. You fucking cow. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, I fucking hate these cows. Go up to the construction light and press Y. See it down here? Select, store, scrap. A for select, B to store, X for scrap, and Y to attach wire. So you want to go up to the construction light and press Y. You'll get this. You see the wire? See the wire right there that I have? Okay, go up to go up to any kind of go up to a power condiment or a generator and then press Y again. Now, as you can see, when you have the wire, the power condiment or the generator or anything really it will it will all glow white well that's too far away but 
anything like ge generators to water purifiers to condiments, they will all glow white. They will glow white when you have a wire. When you're when you have a wire. As you can see, I'll make this more sense. I'll come over here to the. I gotta repair that. So go up to so go up to your construction light. Press Y. As you can see, you'll get options that are white. As you can see, if I hook it up, if I so let's say I want to hook it up to this water purifier. All I'm gonna do is look at the water purifier and press Y. See me? See see the see? Go up to the power. Go up to the go up to the water or go up to anything power condiments you can you can you can hook this you can do this to anything you can hook it up to turrets as well but i don't have a turret as you can see i can hook it up to this power condiment this that's vanilla about to get by the way so let's say i want to hook it up to this uh water purifier look directly it doesn't matter where you can look at you can look at it anywhere but look at the water purifier and press y as you can see, it will it will connect and the light is on. See? The light is now on. You can look at the wire and you can press B to store the wire and as you can see it is off. You can you can connect it to you can go up to uh, any kind of power condiment, press Y on it and it'll be it'll be on. So if you don't know how to so if you don't know how to get the wire, I'm going to say it one more time. Look at the construction light, press Y, and then you can hook it up to anything. Now, if you don't know how to hook it up, look at that object. Again, as you can see, here's the power condiment on a stick. Look directly at it and press Y again, and it'll hook up. Do that again. Look at the construction light. Look at the construction light. Press Y, and then hook the wire up to anything. As you can see, it's on. It's not just construction lights; it's turrets as well, and it's also the same thing for water purifiers. So I have a water purifier. It it has no power. It's, it's not on. As you can see. It should have a yellow light to show that it's on. Oh, here we go. Here, yeah, look, there's the yellow light. Oh, apparently this one's not connect. So when you find the, so I'm going to show you where the water purifiers are. So look at the water purifier. Now, it has to be in water. You can't place it on land. Oh, you can't. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This is this 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 water purifier. This is the mod. Th this water purifier is these or well, these water purifiers. These are these are modded. As you can see, get water water purifier land. Now the vanilla the water purifiers in the vanilla game they need to be in water, but this can be on land. Because it's a mod. So place the water purifier like anywhere in the water. It doesn't matter where. It could be all the way underwater or it could just be near the shore. And look, remember, remember what I told you with the construction light. Look at the, it, look, look at the water purifier. Press Y. And as you can see, you got the wire. Now go up to a power condiment or a generator and press Y on that condiment. Press Y on that pylon or generator. And as you can see, the wire will then connect and it is on. Same thing. Now I'm gonna place the generator down to show you that it works. I'll, I'll, get, a, I'll get a small one. So I, like I said, Look look at the water purifier, press Y, and then drag the wire. Drag the wire. As you can see, when you get when you get near the generator, when you when you look at the generator, the wire will instantly go to it.
See, see the wire? When you look at it, so go up to the water purifier, press, go up to the water purifier, press Y, drag the wire to a generator or a pylon, and then press Y again. If you don't understand, look at the water purifier or anything. Look at the water purifier, press Y, press Y. Remember, look at the water purifier, press Y, and then drag it to a generator, and then press Y again. And as you can see, so it will attach and it is on. But see, look, this water purifier, it takes five power and, and it produces 40 water. But this generator produces three, so the generator doesn't produce enough power. So look at the look at the water purifier, press Y, drag the wire. As you can see, here's as you can see, here's the wire right here. Here it is right here. Drag the wire. You can go as far as you want. It doesn't disappear. But the far but the farther you go, as you can see, it's gonna turn red because that's you you can't go that far. That's the limit. That's the limit right there. That's how far you can go. So drag the wire to a pylon or a generator and then press Y on that pylon and it will connect. And as you can see, it is on, producing water. Uh, that is the exact same thing with the generator. So we're gonna go back to power. Well, well I'm actually in the wrong area. Okay, so I'm gonna place down, I'm gonna place down, I'm gonna place down a generator. I'm gonna put a turret right here. Sorry, I'm gonna put our turret right here. So place a generator down like this. So place your generator down. And it's right next to power. As you can see, here's decorations front of our turret. Go, it's right next to power. You'll you'll see this little section right here. So scroll over to that, and this is defense. Now in defense, you get a lot of options. You get you get two guard towers, you get a guard post and you get a guard tower. You can assign settlers to this. You can assign a settlers to these. You can assign a settlers to these guard towers and posts, and they will, you know, basically defend the settlement. And if you draw them one more time, you'll get turret. You get a whole variety of turret. And if you draw over one more time, you get trap. Now these traps are very useless. They're very useless, but I'm not gonna go over the traps, so if you wanna know how you work a trap, you can watch a video. Just look up Fallout 4, how to use traps, and there'll be a guide on how you can use traps. Uh, no, get back, get back on the wall, motherfucker. We're gonna head over to turrets. Uh, this is this is the vanilla game, vanilla, and this is vanilla. Now, what's really cool about these two turrets is that these turrets, these turrets right here. Oh, that is extremely bright. My apologies if that's bright on you. What if the game will load? Now, what's really cool, what's really cool about these turrets right here, do you see these two turrets? What's really cool about these turrets is that these turrets, they don't need power. As you can see, this turret it it doesn't need power. It all it automatically it it, re, it it runs on its own. It's five point fifty six rounds. But this but these generators these these generators produces eight defense. You need you need ten steel, two circuitry, two gears, and four oil. That's it. You don't these don't need wire as you can see. As you can see, I can't attach a wire to it. I can scrap it, store, or select. But I'm going to place this turret right here. So, however, these are the turrets right here. See this laser turret? These turrets need power. The laser turret, the shotgun turret, the spotlight the the laser turret, the shotgun turret, the spotlight turret, the heavy laser turret, and the missile turret need power.
power. As you can see right here, now as you can see, I have the missile turret selected. As you can see, it requires two power and it produces 15 defense. So, so the missile turret, the heavy laser turret, the spotlight, shotgun, laser turrets, uh, the laser turret, the shotgun, spotlight, heavy laser, and missile turret, they need power. As you can see, if I, if I go over to these turrets, to this turret, uh, these two turrets, as you can see, it doesn't need power. As you can see, it, 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 it powers on its own. These turrets don't need power. But when you use the laser turret, the shotgun turret, the spotlight turret, the heavy laser, and the missile turret, as you can see, it requires two power. These turrets, these turrets right here, the missile turret all the way to the laser turret, these, tur these turrets, these need power. Okay, so you gotta think, you get to get it. So, if there is a turret that looks like this, okay, these two turrets, these two turrets, they don't need power. Okay, they run on their own. And they can get damaged. So if they're damaged and they're not working, you open up your workshop, you go over to the turret, and you press A, and you can prepare them. But these turrets, these need power. The missile turret, the heavy laser turret, the spotlight, the shotgun turret, and the laser turret. These turrets, these turrets need power, okay? The, the missile turret requires two, the heavy laser requires two, the spotlight turret requires two, the shotgun turret requires two power, and the, and the laser turret requires two power. These turrets require two power. So, let's see. Let's use... Let's use the heavy laser turret. This turret I haven't used. So when you place it down, as you can see, it's not activated. It requires two power. So what do you do? Well, you can get a generator, like I did here. Get a generator. We're gonna put it up here, so so the break, so the bad guys won't damage it. So as you can see, okay. Remember, remember. Look at the generator. Look at the generator. As you can see, it's highlighted blue. Now, in, in now in your playthrough, it's gonna be green. Now you can actually change this in settings, but. So look at the generator, press Y, and then look at the turret, and then press Y. As you can see, heavy laser turret. As you can see, it's turning, and it's on. As now I'm going to tell you guys again. I'm going to tell you again. The laser turret, the shotgun turret, the spotlight turret, the heavy laser turret, and the missile turret need power. Got that? They need power. These two turrets don't, don't, they don't need power. They run on their own. So we're going to scoot these two over right next to each other. And I guess we'll put a shotgun turret. As you can see, it's not on. The now the reason why it's not on is because it doesn't have enough power. Remember, this gen this generator is producing is is producing three power, and these turrets need two power. And these turrets need two power, so we have a total of three power. But as you can see, the shotgun turret requires two, and the heavy laser turret requires two, so that's a total of four. But the generator the generator is producing three, so we're like one power under. So. I'm just going to put a I'm just going to put a generator I'm just going to put a generator right next to this one and I'm going to connect them like that now this turret is activated but instead of instead of doing that what we're going to do okay we're going to hook what we're going to do we're going to put a power pylon you can find it right here next to Connectors and switches. Connectors and switches. You can find a whole Riley, a whole different kind of Riley. This is a pressure plate. 
which I never really use. So what you do is now when your heavy laser turret is active, look at the laser turret, press Y, and as you can see, you're going to get another wire. Now hook this wire up to a pylon. And now look at the pylon, press Y, and then drag this wire over to your, well, whatever turret you're trying to activate. And as you can see, now they're both powered. Now the reason why you do this, now if, if, if you connect, if you take a wire from the heavy laser turret and you hook it to the shotgun turret, they're both, they're both going to be activated. But the problem with this is, is that if this heavy laser turret gets destroyed, this shotgun turret is not going to be activated. Even though it's wired up and there's power, even though they're both wired up, even though, even though it's wired up and it has power, the, the, the turret, the shotgun turret, is not going to work. And I will show you. As you can see, the heavy laser turret is destroyed. But as you can see, the shotgun turret, well, this was a reference, but in the actual game, basically, so we're going to go ahead and repair this, but in the vanilla game, Well, give it a second. So, if you take a wire from the heavy laser turret and you connect it to the shotgun turret, what's going to happen is that when this laser turret is destroyed, or when the laser turret is destroyed, the shotgun turret will not be activated. Even though it's hooked up and it has power, the shotgun turret will not be activated. The reason why it w the, now the reason why it won't be activated is because you hooked it up to the heavy laser turret. Now this is th now this is how I used to do it. See, when I used to make my missile turret towers and put a whole bunch of missile turrets, I would connect the turrets right now. I, I would connect the turrets like this. So, so when one turret goes down they will all go down because they're connected together. So that's why you gotta remember when you're, when you're hooking up two turrets, you, you take the wire from the heavy laser turret, or you take the wire from your turret, you take the wire from your turret, you hook it up to the pylon, and then you take the wire from the pylon and hook it up to, the, to your other turret. And then you continue this progress. But if you have a whole bunch of turrets, now I'm gonna put a whole bunch of, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of laser turrets over here. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of laser turrets. But what you can do is that you can take you can take a wire from the pylon, hook it up to this turret, and as you can see, it's activated. Now I actually ran out of power. Okay, so two generators can power up three turrets. But I'm going to place another generator down. Well, I'm actually going to... What's really cool about the pylon is that you can hook up as many wires as you want and it'll be fine. Like you can literally, you can literally hook up as many wires as you want and they will all be connected. So what you can do is that when you have a whole bunch of turrets and you and so instead of hooking them up like so instead of hooking them up together like this and if you have a pylon like I did with these two what you can do is you can take the wire from the pylon and you can just hook them up. 
hook each turret to the pylon. As you can see, they're all active. As you can see, these turrets are not, they're not, they're not connected together. They're connected on their own. I took the wire from this one and I hooked it. As you can see, look how many wires this pylon has. There, look at all those wires. See all these wires? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This pylon has, wait, no, wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five. This, this one pylon has five wires hooked, hooked together. As you can see, they're all hooked together. These turrets are not hooked up to each other. Now, if you're building a giant turret tower, and instead instead of hooking the turrets together, uh, all you need is one pylon. Oops, no, no, that's not bad. So you can you can hook up as many wires as you want to the pylon and the wire will transform. As you can see, I have four turrets here. I have four turrets here. Actually, I actually counted this one on accident, so I had four. So I have four laser turrets. So instead of hooking them up like this, instead of hooking them all up together, and then hooking one to the pylon, what you can do is that you take the wire from the, so you look at the pylon, you press Y, well I jumped there, but you press Y, you drag the wire, and you hook up, or you hook up the first laser turret. So basically, I would like to do is you look at the laser turret, you press Y, and then you hook up, and then you, as you can see, I have the wire, and you hook the wire up to the pylon, like this, as you can see, the turret is activated. Look at the turret, press Y, hook the wire up to the pylon. Go to look at your next trainer, look up your, look at your next, uh, turret, press Y, and hook it up to the pylon. Look at your last turret, press Y, look at the pylon, and then press Y again. And as you can see, all four of these turrets are hooked up, are hooked up, they're, as you can see, they're all activated, but they're not connected together. As you can see, if you, if you take the, so, it, so if I, so if I do this, as you can see, these two turrets are activated together. As you can see, look, I connected them, but they're not connected. You see, they're powered, but they're not connected together. That's because you can hook as many wires as you want. You can hook, you can hook up like, you can hook, look at all these wires this pylon has. Look at all these wires. And yet all of the turrets are activated and there is no issue. That's really cool. So I'm just gonna leave, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And that's that's how you work powers. So you got powers, you got you got kindness and switches, and you got lights. And then show more one more time, you get miscellaneous again. But this has this. Recurrent radio beacon. Recurrent radio beacon. The re the recurrent radio beacon allows you to bring settlers into your farm. So if you have a settlement, so if you have a settlement with like, so if you have a settlement with uh, two people, just put this down and hook it up and you'll get like more settlers. As you can see, I have 20 people here. Well, actually, the 20 people are the guards that I have from a mod. You see this Brotherhood of Steel Soldier? He is a mod. And for some reason, they count as people. I mean, I mean, I know they're people, but they're a mod and they're, they're not real. Or well, you know, they're fake. They're, 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 from, they're, they're from the workbench. And he is from the workbench as well. So this gives you more settlers. I do have one down. Yes, I have one right here. I already have one. Let's grab some rocks. 
And that's it. And you have defense. Now, here comes Nelson. That was power and defense. Now, food and water. So, right next to the defense is resources. This is where water is. So, as you can see, you get water, and you get food, and you get scavenge, and then you get miscellaneous. Now, the miscellaneous, this is a, oh, this is a Brahmin feeder. This is, this is to keep the cows far, far, far away from you. So, we're going to bring the cows over here. So we're going to bring the cows over there so they can, like, get out of my way. And then we have the scavenging station. Now, the scav now this is the vanilla game scavenging station. The scavenging station, I I'm not for sure, but it's a scavenging station. It's so, like, you can assign a seller to it, and I suppose they go out and scavenge, scavenge stuff, I guess. So we're gonna find a settler. No, you're you're on farm duty. Uh, there's a body back there. What the hell? Uh, you. I'm gonna assign you to the scavenging scavenging station, and now now he's gonna go around and like scavenge loot. Basically, that's what it is. Now, I don't know if he scavenge. Now, I don't know if he's gonna scavenge uh, ammo, or if it's just junk for you to build. As you can see, we got the fucking cows over here finally, and we have food. Now, in food, you have stuff like carrot, corn, uh, G O U R D gourd. I call it pumpkins. You have melons. You have much fruit plant. You have you got razor gran. You have tomatoes, and I think that's about it. These are all modded. And then, and if you have it over to water, you have a water pump. This produces three. So, and then, if, and then you have these water purifier. As you can see, this is the this is the vanilla's game. As you can see, I can't place it on land. It can only be placed in water. Same thing for this. This is the water purifier. This is the vanilla game. These two are vanilla games. You have to place these in water or they won't work. And this is a mod. And water... Okay, this is the one that... I, uh, no, this is the one that I'm using that allows me to place it on land. So, there's water. Um, these require power. Water purifier. These require power. As you can get... It requires, or this one requires, this is this is the vanilla's game. This is the vanilla game. It requires five power, and it produces 40 water. So you basically just need, you need one of these for each element, and that'll be it. And then you have this. You have this, you have this small one. This one, this one produces 10 water, and it requires two power. So one small generator should be good for that. So that's water, and that's food. And then you have stuff like stores, you have you have an armor stand. These are vanilla game. You can assign sellers to these and you can like buy armor. Uh, here you have a clinic, like a first aid first aid clinic. You get three versions. You get a small, you get a medium, and then you get a large. You get clothes, you get drink. These are this is the bar. Uh, if you sign a seller, well, like I said, these are these are stores. Uh, if you assign a seller to, if you sign, uh, if you sign a, if you sign a seller to the stores, uh, you can actually, uh, you can trade with them. You can buy stuff like food and, and you can buy for food, food and drinks like the bar. You can buy food. You can buy, you can buy food, water, Nuka Cola and stuff like that. You have clinics. You can purchase. You have the clinic. So you can purchase like stem packs and rat like rat away. Uh, armor, armor store will allows you to purchase armor, all different kinds of armor. Uh, clothes allows you to buy clothes, you know, you know, like the regular clothes that you wear. Uh, you have weapon store. You can purchase. You can buy weapons, ammo, grenades, you know, stuff like that. Then you have a trading booth. You have a trading stand. This is where you will. This is where you can purchase. Um, 
The trading stand is where you can buy, uh, like, a whole bunch of junk so you can build more stuff in your settlement. And these are the dummy stores. See, these aren't real things. These are fake. <laughs> so, but these require... See, the trading stand requires a rank 2 on local leader. This is a perk. This is a perk. Uh, rank of 2 on local leader. Weapons requires local 2 leader. The, depending on what kind it is. Now the now the small the well the well the small one requires rank of two on local leader. The medium requires rank of two on local leader, and the the large one requires rank of two on oh well it requires rank of two on local leader and rank of two on Collider, I don't know. These these are the vanilla. The, those are perks that you have to have. Um, and then you have crafting. You have crafting. You have an armor workbench. You can like repair armor. You can make it more powerful. You can make your armor powerful. You have a chemistry station. You can make drugs, landmines, grenades, first aid. You have a cooking station. This is uh, vanilla. Vanilla. And this is also vanilla right here. Uh, mod, mod, and you have power armor stations. You can have yourself a power armor. And you have weapons workbench. You got two different kinds. You can like, so you can, uh, this is a weapons workbench. So you can make your weapons more powerful. But they, but making your weapons more powerful, it also requires perks. So that's basically the whole workshop system. So, I'm glad this, I hope this helps, Ethan, and I will see you in the next one. An hour long of this crap. See you in the next one, Ethan.